at least 2,000 out of 3,000 students in a double track session are boarders. The increase in student population, unfortunately, does not correspond with availability of teachers for effective supervision. Headmaster Aaron Etienne explains. At any time, we have over 3,000 students uh, attending school in a session, out of which over 2,000 will be boarders. And uh, if that is the situation, it then calls for a number of staff, a large number of staff, to be able to supervise them, especially during the night. Prempe College, like many other schools, has infrastructure deficit, which all students are making efforts to support the government deal with. Already, the school has an agreement with the Amman for North America in establishing the Anna Prempe Endowment Fund to support government in resourcing the school. So far, $300,000 have been accrued by the fund with a short-term target of $1 million in three years. Mr. Joe believes this is the way to go. In building a nation, all other stakeholders should also come in to make sure that uh, there is progress and you have all students embarking on such projects, so it's not completely out of place at all. Meanwhile, the 1997 year group believes all year groups will have to come together to help improve infrastructure at the school. General Secretary for the group, Victor Ade Ousu, is optimistic the four-unit apartment will be completed for the group's 25th anniversary. At the 20th anniversary, we came to the, aid, to the aid of the students. The next challenge was to for our 25th anniversary, which is next year. So a committee was set up to come out with proposals of the kind of projects that we should do. And out of the proposals, the group came to the conclusion that it's time we also have to give to the staff of the school because they take care of the students, and the numbers have increased. Now, if you come to this college, I think they have over 3,000. And then the same structures exist from since the school um, was opened in 1949. So it was imperative and very necessary on our part to also come and help our teaching and non-teaching staff. For Joy News, Nanaya Ojima, Kumasi.